Right, welcome to your second block of MST bot programming. So today we're going to talk a little bit about your specific press session and the next three mobility activation exercises are designed to give you better bracing position, so better spinal organisation and then better overhead positioning. So this is piece number one. I call this paddle boat in your thoracic. So taking a dowel, broomstick, um, a light bar, we're going to use this to basically start to encourage your thoracic spine into that rotation movement. Now this is important from your scapular perspective. Now if you remember your scapula, your shoulder blade, this is where you create stability through your shoulder press. So when you've got your log up and you're actually going from that, from the clean position into the press position, this is where you're going to start to create some overhead stability and overhead mobility. So we're going to do five repetitions on the left hand side, five repetitions on the right hand side, and this is paddle boat in your thoracic. So arms come out here, drop into your stretch. So you should feel a stretch on your left side in this position. Back into your start point, cross. So the stretch now is across on the right side, and then back. So we're holding each stretch for about five seconds, really trying to push down into that stretch, sitting back onto your heels as much as you can before you come back and repeat the same process. So five on the left, five on the right, moving on to your next one. So we're now moving into more of a stretch to open up all the way down the side of your back, the back of the shoulder capsule. So again, you can get into that overhead position much more comfortably. So taking a cream resistance band attached to your squat rack, we are going to move into a position where we're gonna sit back Think about spinal organisation, so not sticking your bum out too far behind you, but leaning back and then allowing the shoulder, your lats, all those sort of posterior delt muscles to get slowly dragged forwards. Now making sure you keep the rib cage down, keep the head in line with the spine, and you're going to camp out here 30 seconds on the left hand side, 30 seconds on the right hand side. So the beauty of this exercise is you don't need a foam roller. So when we've done wall slides before, you've had to position the foam roller on the wall, and I think nine times out of 10, you spend more time worrying about the foam roller than you do about what you're actually doing with your shoulders. So this is a staggered stance. So one foot in front of the other one, forearm wall slide. Now the things to think about here in your setup is making sure that you've got your rib cage down, so you've organized your spine. You're bringing your chin to your chest, so what you're trying to do is imagine creating a double chin. So we've organized our spine in an appropriate position. And then we're gonna go from there, we're gonna take our arms up at about 135 degrees. And then back down again. Now as you're pushing up, I want you to think about the shoulder blades coming down into your back pocket. This is gonna shorten the range of movement in your arms, but this is gonna ensure that what we're doing is engaging that serratus anterior muscle. So six to eight repetitions on this one, and that's your final piece, that's piece number three.